You see them everywhere, on the streets, on the sidewalk, in the park, and along the river. Cycling is growing in popularity among Philadelphians, young and old. In Philadelphia, there are many bicycle-focused community groups working towards similar goals of making Philadelphia a safer and friendlier place for cyclists. Neighborhood Bike Works is a nonprofit agency that does after-school programs with kids in bike repair, where we take salvaged bikes and donated bikes, and we teach kids how to fix them up and ride them safely in the streets, and then by coming into class, the kids get to keep their bike. They earn it by coming to class. Our mission, uh, we promote uh, biking through uh, for recreation and transportation um, as a, um, a viable means uh, in terms of um, uh, economics, in terms of health, uh, and um, in terms of transportation. So we're really trying to get folks from point A to point B uh, with an alternative to a single occupancy vehicle. And what we're choosing to focus on is the bike. Trophy Bike Garage started out uh, fixing and servicing overhauling used bikes and uh, as the store grew, uh, chose to stock new bikes and still uh, deal in the service of bicycles. And now bikes have gone from a healthy recreational tool and activity to a viable form of transportation among working professionals in the city. Out of the top 10 largest cities in the country, Philadelphia has the largest percentage of bicycle commuters. Not just recreation riders, but bicycle commuters. It's it's very easy to bicycle uh, places and to um, you know just find your way around. You don't have to be a great athlete because the t city's very flat and with the grid structure and all, it's uh, very easy to to get around. The more people riding bikes on the streets, the safer it becomes, because the, the more of a fixture you become in the mind of a motorist, as opposed to like an annoying anomaly. There are many economic and environmental advantages to riding a bike to and from work. It is very inexpensive, as bike parking is not metered. It decreases motor vehicle traffic, therefore decreasing carbon emissions, and makes for a more timely commute through the city. I know every day my commute from West Philadelphia is going to take me 22 minutes, 22 to 24 minutes. You can't say that with a bus. You can't say that, well, you can say it walking, but it's going to take twice as long. And you certainly can't say that with a car. I don't have to pay for parking. Um, I get in every day and I'm really excited to be at work because I just had 20 minutes of exercise um, and I just get to be a part of my community whenever I'm riding around. I get to say hi to people, I get to wave at them, I get to talk to them and really be a part of the community that I live in. They've uh, reallocated uh, lanes in Center City. Uh, they eliminated a lane of uh, motor vehicle traffic and dedicated that as an exclusive painted bike lane. Uh, so you can go river to river uh, through Center City um, and just have a, a partition in between vehicle traffic and the bike lane. Biking is also very beneficial to riders' health and fitness. Bicycle advocates believe riding a bike for 20 minutes through Center City is a better kickoff to a productive day than sitting in a car or on a bus in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic with a caffeinated energy drink in hand. Uh, Philadelphia is um, notorious for being in the top five obese cities in the, in the country. And so a lot of what we are addressing is addressing more than just transportation issues. It's addressing, it's addressing economic issues as well as health-related issues. You're exercising, and uh, biking is just healthier. It's less expensive, I guess, because upkeep of a bike versus, uh, like, tokens and passes and stuff. It's just, it's just easier and healthier to ride a bike. It's so much more creative, I think, in a way of getting around than, you know, just taking the SEPTA, which costs you more money. You know, and if you have a bike, why not use it, right? It's really reaching out to some of those other, um, other organizations, including the universities, including big companies, to try and start encouraging their employees, their students, um, or their community to start using other forms of active transportation. We don't necessarily want absolutely everyone to get out on a bike, but people should have a choice to ride a bike. People should have the choice to walk. People should have the choice to take transit. And once they are given that choice, based on the infrastructure and amenities that a city provides, a lot more people are going to start getting on a bike, which what that means is there's going to be less cars. It's going to be easier for buses to get around, so anyone who takes transit, you're probably going to be on time a lot more. And we're going to have a city that is moving upward in terms of health. Philadelphians in greater and greater numbers have taken up bicycling in efforts to ease both their own lives and the well-being of the environment of the city at large.